I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. You got space, man. Huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Wrestle Rock Podcast. I'm your host, Nostrata Ben. And I host this episode with my colleague, Jonathan. How are you doing, Joe? Yes, I'm going great. And you? Fine, and you? Yes, yes, yes. And you know what? No. This is a St. Patrick. Yes, this is Happy a St. Pat- Patrick's. Yes. For the is... Irish people. Yes, yes, yes. This is a special day. But not just a St. Patrick. We have a special guest today. Oh, yeah. Yes. And we have uh, no other than uh, uh, Kelly Ramos, a.k.a. Uh, Kelly Slaughter. Uh, she is the daughter of the legendary WWE Hall of Fame Surgeon Slaughter. How are you doing today? Hi, nice to see you. Yes, thank you so much for being here. Honestly, this is very cool that you can take uh, a couple of uh, minutes with us. I know that you are uh, very busy <laughs> with uh, Super Project as uh, your uh, daughter Slaughter podcast <laughs> and your uh, Spartan race. So this is very awesome. So I uh, go in, my friend. So uh, with the with the, the first question. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. Uh, first of all, uh, Mister Slaughter, uh, what do you what do you do in life? I mean, what is your job? Well, um, I am a stay-at-home mom. So my right. job is taking care of my two children. Um, oh, I do work. I do have a job at the gym, but um, okay, that's just basically to get myself out of the house. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I know uh, exactly the situation because I have two little children. I have a, a little um, daughter called uh, Laurie Han. She she has uh, seven years old and uh, a brand new boy uh, mm-hmm. called Edward. And uh, he have um, he has uh, sorry uh, fourteen uh, months. So uh, he is a, a brand new. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He don't sleep uh, enough, but it no. is what it is. That's the. <laughs> The, the the main goal and that's the reality so when you receive a a special gift like this nobody give you uh, a book uh so uh, uh we uh we we saw a lot of uh, uh colors and if you know what i mean so uh this is a uh this is a special thing so every day it's 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 never the, the be the same. So uh, we are so uh, we are so excited with, uh, yes. and I know that uh, just just for being uh, with your children, it's enough. And uh, I uh, I am totally agree with you with your situation. So, <laughs> um, uh, following uh, our uh, first uh, question, uh, I know that uh, you are uh, the the. The daughter of the legendary uh, Sergeant Slaughter, Mister Slaughter. So, um, I was your neighborhood, and how does it feel uh, to be the, the the daughter of the great the greatest uh, legends of uh, this uh, wonderful uh, professional wrestling uh, industry? So, so my dad was a wrestler before I was born. So I don't know any different. Like I don't know what it's like to have a dad that doesn't wrestle and isn't on TV. Okay. Um, so when I get this question, it's sometimes hard for me to answer because okay. I don't know what it's like okay. to not have okay, a dad. Okay. But I will say that it definitely does have lots of perks. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, when people recognize him and their fans, you know, we do get some perks. And we went to Disney World a few times and got to go like behind the scenes and things like that, that the normal people don't get to do. And um, so that was really cool. Um, But when we lived in Connecticut, Mm -hmm. um, we didn't have any neighbors, (laughs) but when we lived in 
um, Charlotte, North Carolina, we were in a neighborhood with lots of kids. And um, it's funny because my dad loves to tell the story about he'd been on the road and okay. he came home and he'd maybe been in bed for an hour. And I came in, snuck in with all of my neighborhood friends and he, saw, <laughs> and he could hear us. And we were like whispering to each other and he could hear me say, see, he does exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, it's funny when people find out who my dad is and they don't know because I the reaction is usually, what? Your dad is Sergeant Slaughter? <laughs> so cool. And to me, he's just my dad. So I'm just yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, he's dorky. <laughs> <You know? laughs> That's super cool. And I imagine uh, the reaction of people when you, you come to your house and, oh, This is Surgeon Slaughter, so that that's that's super amazing. So go ahead, my friend. Okay, maybe you answered uh, a little bit, uh, but uh, how did you feel uh, with a father who was out of the house at an average an average of 200 days on the road for professional wrestling? Yeah, so on average, it was more like 300 days out of a year where he would be gone and. Again, I didn't know any different, but it was kind of sad to not have my dad home all the time because my friends' dads were home all the time. They'd be home, you know, they'd work regular like nine to five jobs and they'd be home for dinner every night. And my dad was not home for dinner every mm -hmm. night. And when he was home, it was like a big celebration. It was like a holiday. Dad's home. We'd have a huge meal. He'd bring us gifts from wherever he'd been. If he'd been in Japan, he'd bring us these really neat Japanese gifts or, you know, what have you. So it was like a holiday when he would come home. Um, but there would be times where there would be like a father-daughter dance or a father-daughter event going on. And mm -hmm. I couldn't go because my dad wasn't home. Um, and sometimes he would say, well, you know, my friend can take you so you don't have to miss it. And I'd be like, no, I don't want to go with him. I want to go with you. And I understand why you can't be there and I understand that you're working, but he would try his hardest to come home during those times. Um, it didn't always happen, um, mm -hmm. but, you know, when he was able to make it back, he made it back and he would definitely try. Yeah, so uh, it's it's always a special day when he, but I imagine that when he, he's there, he's there, he focus on, uh a specific specific time is in that that's pretty cool so yeah. uh, even though your father is a uh, professional wrestling uh have you always loved professional wrestling have you had the attention to, to be involved in professional wrestling have you uh have uh, a, a wrestling background or stuff i know that that you are um you you, you um you are um he means uh, uh, are you a wrestling fan yes exactly <laughs> So when I was younger, I wanted to be a wrestler and okay. <laughs> I wanted to do what my dad did. I wanted to be wrestling, but the women that I saw in wrestling were like arm candy, like Miss Elizabeth. And mm -hmm. there really weren't um, a lot of women like wrestlers, mm -hmm. um, except for Glow. Now they had the gorgeous ladies of wrestling yeah. and I watched that. And to me, it was like campy. It was kind of like a joke, like they're, you know, like the farmer's daughter and they'd be like pulling each other's hair and like cat fighting. And mm -hmm. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to wrestle the boys. I wanted to fight the men. Yeah. And there was no one doing that at that time. Um, so I really didn't have like anyone to look up to in that aspect. Yeah. And I never really even thought about the fact that I could have been a pioneer in that. Um, But to be honest with you, my dad did not want the wrestling life. <laughs> uh, I he knew what it was like to be a wrestler and that he was gone 300 days of the year and yeah. the toll that it took on his body. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he didn't want that for me. So he he didn't encourage me to do it, but he didn't discourage me to do it, if that makes yeah. sense. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And uh, that's pretty cool, honestly. And uh, who is your, um, I saw that you, uh, we noticed that you have a really good uh, athletic skills. Uh, 
Um, you accomplish a couple of uh, decafit and Spartan races. And mm -hmm. uh, can, you, uh, can, can you share with us uh, this way of life you have and how you prepare uh, to you for the, the, this kind of gold? And uh, I saw that you have a Spartan race shirt. So, yes. yeah, that's pretty cool. Yes. Yeah, nice shirt. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So I bought this one. I earned the trifecta, the Spartan trifecta, which is oh, okay. um, a 5K, a 10K, and a 21K. And you do okay. that within oh, a year. 21K. Yes. Yeah. And um, you do that within a year, and it's called the trifecta. However, they do have trifecta weekends where you can do okay. all three races in one weekend. Um, and that would be the trifecta also. But I train for them. I train a lot. My very, very first Spartan race that I did, I did no training for whatsoever outside of what I was already doing at the gym. And I did good. I had no idea what to expect. Mm -hmm. um, so I just kind of went into it a little blind and had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> but that's I fell in love with it. And it was absolutely freezing and you, there's water obstacles that you have to do. And it was, the wind was blowing and we were like, at one point we were all standing there and we were shivering and somebody made a joke like, so you guys want to do this next Saturday? And I was like, yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I fell in love with it. And um, the rest is history. I did two more last year. So I got the Spartan trifecta. Um, I actually have a race tomorrow. So okay. when I'm done with you guys. I'm headed off to Atlanta, Georgia, and oh, doing another. It's called cool. a Beast, which yeah. is another 21k with 30 obstacles. Wow! Good luck and be careful. Yeah. But Thank I know you. that 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 it's not just uh, athletic skills uh, because uh, I know that it's very uh, very hard for uh, me mentally. It's very hard. So. It's it's more than just physically because when you are sorry if you're fucking tired you <laughs> you 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 need a um, concentration a big concentration and this is very uh, uh, psychologic so if you know yes. what I mean so and yes. I know that you can uh, do it so good luck uh, for this. Uh, very very big challenge so uh, i wish you good luck too <laughs> yes yes thank you thank you and you're well, right it is very much it's not just physically challenging it's mentally challenging oh, mentally too. yeah absolutely i am um they released the map a couple yeah. days before the race and so i was looking at the map and i was looking at all the obstacles that were listed <laughs> that i had to do and i totally got in my head and was like starting to freak out and i was like I'm not going to be able to finish this, you know, yeah. just really getting in my head. And then I was like, Kelly, what are you talking about? You've done three of these. You've already done a beast. You know what it takes to get through this. You've totally got this. So it is, you know, I was getting in my head. I talked myself out of it. Now I'm ready to go. I can't wait to get there and crush the course. Um, you know, it's, definitely a very humbling experience um you know when you're looking at an obstacle especially one that you've never done before and they told us that there are obstacles in this course that are not listed on the map okay. so and how many obstacles you have so there's at least 30 obstacles wow 30 oh. 30 yeah. for this race for this race okay, for the for other race. races there are less Okay, um, yeah, sure. obstacles, but for this wow. one, I'm facing at least 30 obstacles, and some of those obstacles are in the water and it's cold yeah. here right now. And so, Very it's good. we're gonna it's be like cool. a ninja warrior, yes, a little bit. So, uh, a little bit, yeah. People do, um, people do compare it to Ninja Warrior. Um, I, I don't think I would be able to do Ninja Warrior. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I love the Spartan races and um I the deck of fits are always a good challenge too. So good luck, honestly. All this right, good luck. Super Thank cool. You. And uh follow her uh, on uh, social media. She has uh wonderful pictures about all races and this is super cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Mrs. Ra Mrs. Ramis, uh, who is your favorite wrestler, except your dad, of course? <laughs> oh, well, besides my dad, I yeah. loved Jake the Snake. I wanted a snake, 
And I, I asked for a snake. I wanted a snake just like Jake the snake. And I was told absolutely not by my mother. <laughs> um, and then Rowdy Piper too. Rowdy, Rowdy yeah. Piper. Um, yeah. He was a family friend also. Okay. So okay. I'm a little biased with yeah. Rowdy, but um, yeah. Yeah, different Mr. Rowdy. Uh, well, uh, for ending, um, my partner, uh, Benoit, uh, a.k.a. Uh, Nostradamus Ben, it's all about the French prophet and he tried to predict the future of... Uh, oh. of uh, I tried to predict our... the future of all guests. Uh, yes, yes, so go ahead, my friend. Okay, uh, I read somewhere that you, you have a podcast. I do, I do. Okay, I predict to you uh, many, many success with your podcast. Wonderful. Thank yeah. you so much. Yes. Can you tell us the name? Because I don't remember the name of your Yes. Podcast. So on YouTube, it's Slaughter Daughter. Slaughter Daughter. Slaughter Daughter, yes. And uh, just uh, for ending, uh, we know that uh, you and your dad love uh, music, and that's a perfect fit because Wrestle Rock Podcast is it's a mix between wrestling and rock. So, nice. uh, cool business, uh, yes, exactly. And many, so many that, subjects. That, that's pretty cool. So, uh, and if you want to um, uh, saw interesting uh, stories about uh, Mrs. Kelly and his dad, her uh, dad, her dad, sorry. Um, <laughs> I saw that uh, your dad has a, a collections of guitars, mm -hmm. and uh, he loved uh, he loved um, ACDC. If my memory is good, so yeah. uh, we invite you to go to Sutter Daughter on YouTube. Honestly, this is a super cool podcast. Thank well, um, thank you so much for your time. And uh, be careful for your uh, super uh, race tomorrow. And have a great day, my friend. Thank you so much for having me. Bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye. -bye. Bye.